All right. This video I wanted to cover uh, real quick. Uh, the situation that that uh, it, it seems like it's a, uh, or at least it's being sold as being an escalating situation uh, with the um, the relationship between Israel and the United States. All right, and it's concerning a uh, a visit that uh, Vice President Joe Biden made. Uh, I believe it was the 14th. He went to Israel. And uh, at the same time, you know, he went there to, you know, give our uh, our undying love and support for Israel, no matter what they do, right? And uh, simultaneously, uh, I guess hours before some kind of state dinner, uh, the Israelis uh, announced that they were going to build 1,600 more housing units in a disputed area in eastern Jerusalem, which uh, was supposedly is Palestine. Palestinian territory, right? Uh, at least that's part of the uh, brokered and never going to happen peace deal that they're working on. So the whole point is, is that, that this directly uh, undermines the attempts and the all these effort that has been put into uh, brokering some kind of peace deal there and creating a Palestinian state, while a uh, a head of state, the vice president of the U.S., is actually visiting their country. So there's a lot of buzz in the media about this being a slap in the face. And then, of course, you got the pro-Israeli lobby that's, you know, uh, that's coming out and saying, oh, you got to support Israel no matter what. Now, l let me let me just say this. I feel this whole situation is really just being staged. All right. And it's actually more of an ominous sign that there is actually going to be an attack uh, on Iran. And let me explain why. Um, you all are sure, uh, I'm sure you've heard the term uh, political theater. And that's all we get to see these days. Okay. We don't, we don't, we don't see that gritty uh, political uh, action. Or we, we very rarely do. A lot of is going on now with the health debate. But I believe this whole thing is, is really trying to, um, to paint the canvas of a fiat accompli strategy when it comes to the United States backing Israel militarily, right, um, to attack Iran. And here's why. Because amidst this whole, right, rise, uh, this crisis, uh, relations worst between the U.S. and Israel in 35 years, blah, 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 simultaneously, right, and I'm going to put the article in the description, uh, Concord, California to uh, Diego Garcia in the Indian Ocean. Uh, there's being shipped uh, bunker buster bombs, right, which are uh, ground penetrators made to reach uh, targets very deeply underground, reinforced with concrete, so forth, made right here in the USA, right? Our tax dollars at work, right? And I just want to read very quickly a little excerpt here, and I'm going to put the link in the description. Hundreds of powerful U.S. bunker buster bombs are being shipped from California to the British island of Diego Garcia in the Indian Ocean in preparation for a possible attack on Iran. Now, let's make this clear. Uh, we've had B-1, or excuse me, B-2 stealth bombers there since 2007. So they've been sitting there for almost three years now, right? Just, just idling, just waiting. A shipping company based in Florida, Superior Marine Time Services, will be paid $699,500 to carry many thousands of military items from Concord, California to Diego Garcia. Crucially, the cargo includes 195 smart, guided BLU-110 bombs and 192 massive 2,000-pound BLU-117 bombs. They are gearing up for the total destruction of Iran, said Dan Plesch, director of the Center for International Studies and Diplomacy, at the University of London, co-author of the recent studies on U.S. preparation for an attack on Iran. U.S. bombers already are ready today to destroy 10,000 targets in Iran in a few hours, he added. The entire article is in the description. So the whole point is that these two events are happening almost simultaneously, right? And you couldn't even call it sleight of hand because the information is right out there for everybody to see. So it's not like they're really playing a shell game behind the scenes. They're doing it right out in the open. 
So on one end, you've got all, you know, there's there's trouble with uh, our ties with Israel. What are we going to do? It's a big deal. Let's 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 smear it up on the me media. And then meanwhile, we're shipping bombs over to Gar uh, Diego Garcia, which is a clear indication, if not just a chess move. Right. But it's getting us closer to that point where there may actually be an attack on Iran. Now, even if let's say relations with Israel are in the pit, right? Even if Israel did go it alone and attack Iran, but they were using munitions bought from the United States, Iran will do what they would do if the U.S. jointly attacked with Israel. They would retaliate against U.S. targets in the Middle East and other places around the world, possibly here in the United States, because those bombs came from the United States. All right. So then after that happens, after the Iranians retaliate, it will be easier for the U.S. to demonize the Iranians because they're retaliating against U.S. targets because Israel fired first. So that way, that way the U.S. can go, oh, well, we, we kind of had to join in. You know, they retaliated against us. So they're using the fiat accompli strategy. And I think it's kind of a, a way of possibly staving off a third world or nuclear war uh, from the U.S.'s standpoint. Because then there may be a little bit of buffer there for there to be diplomacy between the Chinese and the Russians specifically, right? India is also a card here too, uh, where they can say, well, you know, Israel struck first. We're going to have to back them and uh, don't retaliate against Israel because you'll be retaliating against us. And this all comes amidst um, the Russians reaffirming that they would back Iran military. China has been stoic and solid on the, ob on the subject. They're not going to back sanctions. They're not going to back down. I was reading today that India was uh, has clarified on the world stage that Iran has just as much right to have a peaceful nuclear energy program as any nation does, right? Uh, per the um, the uh, the treaty, the non non proliferation treaty, which uh, Israel is not a signator of. So anyway, the long and the short of it is I see this whole situation as, as actually a really bad sign because they're trying to they're trying to switch they're trying to switch gears a little bit and I'm not saying it's completely contrived, but the timing of this whole situation while we're simultaneously sending the exact type of weaponry that Israel needs to get the job done, so to speak, right? Uh, while this diplomatic row between uh you know, Israel, uh, because of the housing development announcement on Biden's visit, it just seems very suspicious to me. All right. And I just wanted to cover that. So just keep your eyes peeled. All right. This could get ugly. Let's hope it doesn't.